Who knows how long? Um, hey, happy Easter. Uh, this is kind of a weird one. This is so bizarre. Uh, I hope everyone's doing all right. I hope keeping each other entertained. I feel really bad for the people out there who don't have like a Discord or anyone to talk to or like. Without Discord, I'd be so screwed right now. It has keep, kept me so entertained. Okay, whatever. Um, so random video random bit of inspiration i got here to make a video about um my mic settings so constantly when i'm in discord um usually when i'm in discord i have my cam on so people can see me um and people will notice like right off the bat there's always someone hey you have a blue yeti and your mic sounds pretty good how do you make it sound so good um, so here's just like a real quick, and I know this is like oversaturated. I, there's probably, there's thousands of videos about the Blue Yeti out there, but this one's mine. So real quick to make it sound exactly like mine. Um, also disclaimer, I also have a Blue Snowball, which is an older, older version, not version. It's an older, cheaper mic made by the same company. So it's the Blue Snowball. People overlook this pretty quickly, but this same exact, if do everything I'm about to say with the blue snowball on it, on an even cheaper mic, it's going to sound really good. It's going to like, I, someone told me this in a discord and I was like, I don't know, man. I feel like my mic sounds, the blue Yeti is quite a bit superior and it's better, but I broke out the snowball because I still have one and it sounded really good with this setting. So try it out. Here's what I'm doing. So first thing right off the bat is the settings on the blue yeti the hardware so um on the back there's a couple buttons here so the top button is the gain and i have this all the way down i don't want any gain from this mic so just an example most people might have the gain up like halfway or a quarter of the way and then they'll put the mic far away. so here's my Here's my version of like how everyone else's like Blue Yeti sounds. Um, and it's not bad. You can make out everything I'm saying. But whatever. This is just, you know, small things. Gain all the way down. Bring the mic closer to your mouth. I have it um, about like a fist away from my mouth. This is like what Joe Rogan always says. So maybe I might be a little too loud. You could probably get away with, you know, a little bit more than a... Um, a fist away from the mouth I'll bring it up right close so like my lips are practically touching it so just for whatever it's worth to you this is how it sounds very close pretty close getting getting kind of far for a mic so whatever sounds best to you um and then we have uh as the second button which is where is it going to pick up audio from so I want it to only pick up audio from my mouth right in front of it so I'm going to have it set to the cardioid path uh, which looks like a heart, which looks like a butt, a pear, whatever. So just put it on that. So now you're probably going to hear me snapping the whole time, but I bet it's the loudest when I'm in front. So there, whatever that's worth to you. Okay. So that's the hardware and this is going to get you like 90% of the way there. Then I got a software that I'm always running constantly whenever I boot up my PC. So now we're going to voice meter. So I have voice meter banana running. Um, look up a video of how to get this set up. It's not super complicated. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but it goes a long way. So just for that extra 10%, um, so this is the, the hardware input, one, two, three. I only have one microphone, so I'm only gonna put the, uh, the Blue Yeti in my hardware input, and I'm gonna send my audio to, um, Actually, I'm not sending it anywhere, but I can. If I want to, I hit A1, and now I'm hearing my voice. So uh, that's a good way to test how you sound. So right here, the IntelliPan, uh, this is going to give like a voice effect. So this is this is without an effect. This is my voice. Um, and I like to just bring it down, give it a little bit more low end, and then dry. Um, so if you want it to echo... 
uh, you can pull it up and now give you more of a, this is more, much more interesting if you're recording vocals, but just for like talking on discord, this is what I do. I just bring it down, give it a little bit more low end. I want to dry it out. So there's way less echo and then this is it. So you can mess around with it. So I'll just drag it around all the four corners and you can hear how I sound. Um, but like small tip, and this kind of goes across any sort of software that you're that you're learning. Um, to me, this stands out most in photography. When you learn about a new skill, a new effect, a new plugin, people love to go crazy with it. Less is more, okay? Don't take that saturation slider and bring it all the way up to 100, okay? So like when you are watching this video, I promise you, you're not going, people are not going to think like, wow, that is such a good mic when it sounds like this. This is really weird. This is too much. It's too much. Um, so I'm just going to bring it a, just a little bit. So, okay. I think that's it. I think I've covered my bases here. Um, I wanted it to be a, a pretty quick video. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise that's going to be it for me. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. Uh, stay inside. I will put a link to my discord. Um, cause like, like I said, like that's, what's keeping me entertained so much. So invite to my discord in the video description. So check that out. Otherwise again, thanks. I appreciate it.